All right, we're back. Uh, we're going to continue with this diagram. It's figure 14.1 on your little quiz here. And we're now up to problem number five. So let's take a look. It says, if the market price rises above 6.30, the firm will earn. If market price rises above 6.30, I've corrected my mistake from the previous one. You see, I put 6.30 opposed to 6.50. But now the market price is above that. So let's draw one in. All right? Let's take a line here and say, let's say the price goes here. Right? So that's price. That's equal to marginal revenue under perfect competition. Remember? The firm always goes and sets price equal to marginal revenue, equal to marginal cost. This tells it how much to produce. It produces at Q, we'll call it Q, it's Q naught. And now you have to ask yourself, what's going on here? Well, what you do is you say, okay, this is the firm's price. This is the average total cost at this level of output. So at this level of output, the price exceeds average total cost. So P is greater than average total cost. This firm is clearly making money. It's making above normal returns. Not normal returns, above normal returns. Because remember, the average cost includes a normal rate of return to the firm. All right, let's read our choices. Positive economic profits in the short run. Clearly positive economic profits in the short run. So A is looking quite good. B, negative economic profits in the short run but remain in business. Nope. This firm is not making economic profits, so you can get rid of B. C, negative economic profits and shut down. Well, negative profits would mean the price is below average cost, below average variable cost would be a shutdown point. This is not true. This firm is doing fine. And D, zero economic profits in the short run. No, zero economic profits would occur when the firm's price equaled average total cost. But we know the price exceeds average total cost. Okay? as we've drawn this diagram here. So the answer is going to be A, positive economic profits in the short run. Again, I've under, undermined, or excuse me, underlined short run because in perfectly competitive markets, short run profits can exist, long run above normal profits cannot exist. New firms will come in, knock the price down. We'll do a little bit more of this later on the quiz. All right, let's continue because we're all taking figure 14.1 and we're running with it. It says six, refer to figure 14.1. If the market price is $5, the firm will earn. Market price, $5, all right? So $5 is again gonna happen somewhere between 6.30 and 4.50. 4.50 is where the marginal cost is at the minimum of the average variable cost. 6.30 is where marginal cost is at the minimum of the average total cost. $5 happens in between. So let's say $5 is this blue line right here. I'm gonna draw some dots on it. What's gonna happen there? Well, if this is $5, the firm's gonna set price equal to marginal cost. It's gonna produce this much output. We'll call it the blue Q star level of output. That is the best the firm can do. And then you ask yourself, okay, so what's going on at this level of output Q star? Well, first and foremost, we know at this level of output, that the price is below the average total cost, the firm is losing money. So here, in this particular problem, price is less than average total cost. So now the firm's losing money. Right? Every time it sells something, it gets this, this many dollars, which is below the cost, the average cost of producing it, we're obviously losing. The question is, are we losing so much that we're below average variable cost? The answer is no. So the firms, at this level of output, the average variable cost are right here, so the firm is above average variable cost, all right? But price is greater than average variable cost in this particular case. So now we have that situation where the firm is losing money, but it can stay in business because it can pay its suppliers, it can pay its labor, etc. So in the short run, this firm should stay in business. Let's see what our choices are. A, positive economic profits in the short run. Well, no, the firm is not making positive economic profits because price is clearly below average total cost. B, negative economic profits in the short run, but remain in business. Well, yes, it is making economic, negative economic profits because price is below the average, average total cost, but it will stay in business because price is greater than the average variable cost. So we're looking at a very good answer right now in B, but let's keep reading on. C, negative economic profits and shut down. Well, the negative economic profits is correct, right? Because price is lower than ATC but the firm won't shut down. And the reason is that because price is greater than average variable cost, 
the firm will stay in business in the short run. D, zero economic profits in the, in the short run. Well, that's clearly wrong again, because if there's zero economic profits, that means price equal average total cost. That's not going on. Price is less than it. So the answer to number six is clearly B, and hopefully this is starting to make more sense. I've got one more problem to do on figure 14.1, so let's plow ahead and get this done, and before we turn to a whole new sequence of diagrams. All right. Seven, it says refer to figure 14.1. If the market price is now $4, what are we going to do? Price now $4, so let's go. It's going to be below this point here. Here's approximately $4. The firm is going to produce this much output. I'm going to call it Q. I'll give it a 4 there for $4 is the price. And now we have to ask ourselves what's going on. Well, this level of output, you can see that the price at $4 is clearly below the average variable cost. Here's the average variable cost. Whatever this price is over here, that's our average, average variable cost at this level of output. Again, just to remind yourself, you always set prices to the marginal cost. That's where the firm starts to say, this is the best I can do. The best it could do may not be good enough. We have to realize that. But this is the best it could do. So P equals MC, that gives you the output level. And then you start to compare the price with your various costs at that output level. So, in this particular case, I have to start erasing my figures now. I know price now is less than average variable cost. When price is $4, this is my output. I said price equal marginal cost. It's below this. We're in trouble. Again, can't meet labor, can't meet supplies. No bank's going to lend me money. This is a very grim situation. It looks like shutdown time. Let's see what our choices are. If the firm's price is $4, the firm will earn A. Positive economic profits in the short run. Well, there's no way that's occurring, right? Price is less than average total cost. It's less than average variable cost. Firm is losing money hands over fist. B, negative economic profits in the short run, but remain in business. Wrong. Because price is, because the, at this output level, price exceeds average variable cost, all right? The average variable cost exceeds price. Excuse me, you are really in trouble. Every unit you sell, you can't even cover the basic variable costs you need to keep in business. That's not going to happen in the short run. D, negative economic profits and shut down. Yes, this is, this is the only thing left for this firm to do. They're losing tons of money. They can't cover their variable costs. They're out of business. This is a shutdown point. And uh, last one is zero economic profits in the short run. No, they're making, uh, they're losing. It's not zero, they're losing. So again, what's the story of this diagram? The diagram goes like this. If price is above your average variable cost, your average total cost, you're making money above normal returns, life is good, it's not going to remain that way because new firms are going to compete. If price falls below your average variable cost, you're out of business. You can't meet anything. You can't meet the basic operating expenses to keep the firm going. If price is somewhere in between the average variable cost and the average total cost, the average total cost and the average variable cost, if price falls in between there, you can live another day. Because price is lower than average total cost, you're losing money. But because price is greater than average variable cost in this range right in here, you're losing money, but you're covering your variable cost, which means you're covering the basic things you need to keep the firm going in the short run. You will stay in business in the short run. But this is not a long-run existence. It's only a short-run existence. All right. So this diagram is kind of useful, right? It really captures the entire panoply of outcomes and choices for us under, under perfect competition for a small firm. Where now we've been focusing here on short-run analysis. I'm going to stop. We'll take a break. I'll come back. And we're going to do a long-run analysis and put the whole pieces together. Okay? Let's stop.